I first just want to ask, you guys had at one point a 16-point lead. Where do you think the breakdown of this game happened and what just what happened overall? I, I think two things. Um, one, we were really generating good shots early in the game in the first quarter. Uh, and we were rebounding the ball with energy and discipline. And then as the game wore on, we, we really got out of sync on offense. And Duke was playing really good defense, so they had uh, a hand in that. And then we, we really broke down with our rebounding. And so I think our offensive execution, our rebounding were the keys today. And us not being able to win. And you know they, they played better. They deserved to win. We didn't play well today. <laughs> Chase, you felt like you were just not having your game today. Can you just talk to me about how you felt on the court and if you, why you were struggling kind of to find opportunities to score? Yeah, um, they were really aggressive uh, in the passing lanes a lot. Um, I didn't play very well. Uh, we didn't play very well as a team. That starts with me. So, um, you know, I think being aggressive, even when they are being really aggressive, was my issue. Um, but um, we'll learn from this. Uh, Coach, three point shooting until the like, end of the fourth quarter, there's only eight threes taken all game. Um, going to the paint and getting fouls is really working up until that last quarter. Yeah. Um, when did the, the adjustment come in to say, okay, now we need to, to spread it out? Yeah, you know, I think they were obviously keen at, on the three point line. So our um, counter to that is to kind of spread them out and attack. And I think that was working for a while. And then when we did get some opportunities at the three point line, we weren't connecting. And so we got a few late, but um, overall, I think that was part of their strategy to kind of chase us off the three point line. And um, it worked for a while in terms of us attacking and getting to the free throw line. But um, like, like everything on office, we just didn't sustain it for four quarters. And what was your message just to the players in the locker room after the game, especially those players who, you know, careers are now over? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we've got some kids who've, you know, invested, you know, like JC's invested so much in our program and been such an incredible representative um, of Ohio State women's basketball. So it's really hard to, to see them go out this way. And, you know, I think there's, there's lessons for people like JC who won't get a chance to play here again. And there's lessons for the ones coming back that, you know, I I just when the the season ends, it really only ends the right way for one team. Um, but you do want to walk out of the locker room on that last game, like man, we we played great, we gave it our all. They were just a little bit better. We can't really say that. Duke deserved to win the game. They played significantly better than we did. Uh, I just wish we would have put our best foot forward, and we didn't today. JC, you've been pretty selfless for four years. How do you want to be remembered in this program? Um, I would just say someone that uh, gave it their all to this university and represented it well. Um, it's a pleasure. All of us have the pleasure of playing here. So I think just representing it right and, and um, you know, always giving it our all every game, which, which we do and they're going to continue to do. That's, that's what um, we do here at Ohio State. And Cody, uh, what do you take away from not just last year's run, but this year's run? You've kind of now been to the Elite Eight. You've been knocked out earlier than you guys expected. And, and how do you kind of move forward as one of the leaders of the team moving forward? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, March is nothing to play with. Um, you're one and done. Um, so it's either you take this shit serious or you're going home. You give it your all or you're going home. Um, I feel like we're leaving here with a lot of regrets, and uh, that's not what we wanted to do. Um, so I feel like my biggest takeaway in moving forward, um, especially going into March in the future, would just be to emphasize, um, you know, do what we practice. Um, do what we do and, you know, play the game that we play um, and leave it all out there is really, really all I can say. All right. Um, Deion Cash, SU Live 365. Coach, um, another great season. Uh, Coach Lawson said that she would prefer for you guys to go inside as opposed to shoot threes. Do you think that you kind of fell in love with that a little bit today and wasn't able to kind of switch back to the team that y'all you know that you kind of play like normally yeah um, we um, we're, we're usually at our best when we're really balanced with what we're doing uh, throwing the ball inside driving it getting to the free throw line and getting threes um, we just didn't get enough balance in what we were doing today and so you know I thought we were, had some effectiveness around the rim for sure um, but we usually when we're at our best there's a lot more balance in the shots we're getting from the location and also the scoring is you know, kind of spread out, and it just we just didn't generate enough quality looks at the three-point line or take advantage of them when we got them. Of course. Yeah. Um, Cody, you had a monster game, um, but as it got later in the game, it felt like, you know, they were just 
kind of throwing it to you every time, like like we just talked about with Coach. You think maybe not having a three ball hurt y'all a little bit today? Um, honestly, yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like we didn't have many ways we were able to score today. Um, and like he said, I mean, we were getting the looks. We just weren't connecting them. Uh, so I feel like, yeah, kind of hurt us not having, you know, our three-pointers. You know, JC is really hitting. Um, Celeste, she can shoot the three. Ricky, Madison. Um, so, yeah, I feel like definitely hurt us a little bit. <clears throat> JC, incredible career. Um, you go down one of the great point guards. Um, today, they just they just ran you off the three-point line. They weren't going to let you attack them from the three. I know you probably saw a lot of different things in the game um, to kind of show that. Uh, but incredible career. Yesterday, when you mentioned, we, we were asking you about Duke's youth. And you said you think maybe at times they don't even know how young they are. Like they just, when young players are out there, they just go. Did you get up 16? Did you see? It just seemed like they were just like, okay, we're just going to go. And like, you didn't see that youth phase them at all? No, they just, they kind of kept playing their game and chipping away at it. And, you know, the, the things that, you know, one big way to get back in the game when you're down is offensive rebound. And so they, they got a lot of offensive rebounds, uh, which also allowed them to get to the line significantly more than they normally do because they're rebounding the ball around the basket. And, and so um, I think they just, they're young kids, just, they just played really hard. And they, you know, they made mistakes, but they kept playing hard and they're very athletic and, and they made enough plays to win the game. It felt it felt like there was like just a lack of height today, lack of depth, of height depth. So like when you're when you're struggling on the boards and you're struggling to get those stops by the basket, how much did it hurt that you guys didn't really have someone else besides maybe Ty once in a while to go to to give Rebecca a little bit of a break? Yeah, they they had some big baskets um, around the rim, not just on offensive rebounds, but throwing it into Brown late in the game, and, and that her she was getting really deep good position, and so our you know our post defense kind of broke down there in the second half. And there were some times that you guys hit, missed some key free throws. How much did that hurt? Just you're getting free points in a close game that you guys aren't able to hit those free throws. Yeah, I mean, you know, when, you know, they shot 82 percent and we shot 66. That's in a close game, obviously that matters. And so, um, you know, I thought we got to the free throw line enough. Um, we could have capitalized a little bit more, and then we needed to keep them off the line by blocking them out. But yeah, you know, in, in, a, in a game like this, it, it all matters for sure. Last thing I want to ask, how much did it hurt that Celeste fouled out so early in the fourth quarter? Yeah, it was tough. I mean, we obviously rely on her um, both ends of the floor. And so, you know, when she went out of the game, um, that was certainly a, a significant moment and um, unfortunate. Uh, JC, you said after senior day that it hasn't really hit you yet that you know, you're leaving the program. What's, what's kind of going through your head right now? Uh, it still hasn't hit me. Um, just like Cody kind of said, it's just disappointing because um, – you know, I feel like we have a lot of regret. Um, didn't play our best game. Duke played a great game. Um, but I think it uh, hurts a little more that, you know, we, we didn't go out there and play our best game today.